for the show, the paintings are actually scaled to the architecture of the space. And this is a space where the ceilings are incredibly high and you have a very high window that at the end of this long corridor. And so I really wanted to take advantage of this length and this height in the space and make paintings that were that really were had a, had a great scale that had the height that could could kind of create these portals in that um, ethereal space that the top floor gallery is. So there's six paintings and they're all pairs. And the idea of the paintings was that you would see one in its original state and then you would see a step away from that state. And that could be in that state it could become less, it became more, different things could be emphasized. And then I wanted to hang them so they were opposite each other. And so that when you walk through the space, you were constantly forced to look left, to look right, to rectify the, these two images. Um, and that you yourself became almost like a sculpture in the round, that you had to look um, in your periphery and, and, and look, look at one to see what it was doing and then look to the, to the other side and look and see what it was doing. And I wanted you to, you to be actually sort of caught between these two images, that you actually become part of the work by being you know, in that, in, in that in-between space. It's the only place that you can kind of see both works. I was really thinking about how any work of art is just a generation um, in many, many steps of an artist's work. So I really think of an artist's body of work as, as one work and that at each stage, you're just seeing a little window into a set of decisions. And that set of decisions titrates, it changes, it evolves. And it's really that evolution and that space in between, those decisions that you make in between a work that create the next work, that creates the next work after, that I really want to highlight and by, by painting these paintings in pairs where you could see very closely that they were the same painting in two different stages in some ways. And then the last painting actually falls deeper in the space, but it really addresses the window in this way that it feels like the light of the window is almost brought into the painting itself. Um, and this idea of, of spilling the work out of architecture into space and having this almost a kind of ghost image as you leave the gallery and into the rest of the world is actually part of the work, both conceptually, but also physically in the sculptures that are in the show. So the sculptures um, are both indoor and outdoor. So there's one entirely outdoor, and there's one entirely indoor, and there's one in between. And the idea was that you almost would find these like a trail of, of images or objects through space so that they kind of escape from the gallery out into the garden, bleed your experience as you go in. You sort of, you see, you know, you'll see one of the objects and you recognize it again in a different state upstairs. And then you see that the, the indoor work actually leads you again outdoor. So then when you leave the space, you have to see the work again it's about your eyes putting together the piece in real time. It camouflages into any space. It actually reflects and it takes what is around it into the piece itself. So on a blue day, it will be a blue, a blue sky day, it'll be a blue piece. On a gray day, it's a gray piece. If you put it under a tree, as you walk around it, when you see the tree, the tree becomes part of the work as well. So it almost becomes like a, a, like a kind of chameleon into the space itself, but because it's fractured as a piece, it can never wholly um, take the space around it.